What's good, YouTube and returning life gainers? Black Panther is what we thought it was. Award-winning entertainment with splices of culture and politics. Let's get the discussion going nice and early. Will this be a top 10 highest grossing movie? I think it will. And how did you feel about the political and cultural statements made in the video? I mean, the movie. If you're just finding my channel for the first time, click subscribe, get that notification bell so that you can be down every time I drop a video. And this video is featuring my queen and my wife who faithfully escorted me to Wakanda. Let's get into the video. What's good, YouTube? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. I'm Black Panther. Just took my queen to see Black Panther because she had to go with her king and damn, got to be more careful. This is our review of Black Panther the movie and it was everything. Since my wife don't really do movie reviews, I'm going to ask her first. First, let me just say this before I let her jump in. There are two post credit scenes. Y'all make sure you tell your friends and your cousins and your uncles to stay for that. Honey, tell me about Black Panther since you are not a Marvel Comics fan. How was this movie? It was a really good movie. Um, I didn't know anything about the background, anything about Marvel, Black Panther, anything other than, I guess, what I've gotten from you. Um, She's a Black time. Panther virgin. Anyway, so it was, a, it was a good movie. Good drama, good action. Um, and if you don't know anything about Black Panther, it, the movie does a good job of filling you in. Right. Um, Michael B. Jordan as Killmonger, the villain in this movie. Anytime you have a villain that has a real personal conflict, family conflict, deep cultural conflict that spans more than one area of the world, it's setting you up for an outstanding movie because the villain is so good. This wasn't just somebody carrying a big hammer, knocking over toilets, knocking over dumpsters, looking for trash. This was a guy that had a real personal vendetta that was bigger than a nation. Um, Black Panther himself and the, the ladies, the Dora Milaje, the fighting women. Whew! You see what I got on her shirt? <laughs> Think y'all gonna mess with the king. She's gonna beat your ass, right? They were outstanding. It really put on display women actress, the power of women, the, the gravity of what we have come to as a nation. The movie had politics in it. Um, the movie had a little bit of jabs at Trump, if you pay attention. It also is probably gonna make a few Anglo-Saxons a little mad because they took a little jab at colonialism. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But overall, the movie is outstanding. 10 out of 10. I'm not gonna give the spoiler review part of this movie review. We're just gonna keep it simple. How do you think the acting was in the movie? The acting was outstanding. Um, very believable, which it should be, but mm -hmm. um, very believable. The dialogue was believable. Right. Again, the drama, the conflicts, um, the humor was placed in the exact, the, in great areas. So it was it was a good movie. Wakanda! Oh, goodness. Step into spotlight. Oh, goodness. And to further elaborate on some of the good things that happened in this movie, you know, it kept it within the universe of the Marvel space so you know we've got these connected movies that are happening over the next couple of years and it fits into that space very well and black panther the king t'challa himself had a very deep personal conflict with his own daddy that you'll see in this movie that kind of connected him to killmonger that made you really root for kind of both of them it's almost like killmonger was an anti-villain because the cause that he was fighting for was something that a lot of people felt like they could get behind and at the same time, um, T'Challa, the king, is dealt with just a, a stack of issues he's got to fix for his people and for the greater nation as whole. How do you feel about his sister? Oh. The technology girl. <laughs> she was good. Yeah, yeah. She, she did the thing. And how do you feel about the love interest, the spy? The spy. Remember the spy? Oh. Um, she always does a good job. I can't think of her name. Lupita. But yeah, Lupita always does a yeah, great job. She did. So, she did. A I mean, good each job. character was was 
perfectly designed and I guess mm -hmm. this is, these are characters that have already existed and That's so right. basically each character came to life um, and again everything was, was very believable and actually some of the fight scenes actually reminded me of Game of Thrones there were some some yeah. scenes that kind of took me back to Game of Thrones so yep she took the words right out of my mouth if you could just kind of combine the elements of a lot of great theater that we've seen this movie had parts of Game of Thrones in it it had parts of Avatar in it. Um, it definitely had... It didn't feel like a Marvel movie, per se. I mean, it's a superhero movie, yes. But the, the gravity of this movie did not feel like a Marvel movie. If you have enjoyed any of the movies I just previously named, from Avatar to the Titanic, the way they take you up and take you down, you will definitely like this movie, unless you're not being real with yourself. Had elements of Star Wars. Wakanda was just... A beautiful place. Like I wanted to take a trip there myself. Can I go? I'm coming. You coming? Yeah, I'm coming. And we ain't coming back unless they give us some of them weapons. I mean, it really felt like you just hopped on a train, took a ride to a new universe, and got to know people, culture, and dynamics that you had never seen before. So Marvel, you get a 10 out of 10 from this house. You can take anybody to see this movie. Um, just mindful of the kiddies because they was doing some killing. Now, I mean, homeboy breaking legs, beating up people, beating the hell out of people. Now, I will say that when I go see some Avengers movies with you, some of the fighting can be kind of cheesy where you know good and well. She didn't that, mean that. that she didn't can, mean that, Marvel. You know, she some things mean that. are, are she mean impossible. That. She you, mean it, you feel like you're watching a, a cheesy, she mean cheesy movie. Marvel scene. <laughs> but again, a lot of the fight scenes in this was, was great where you actually, it, it's very believable. Right, right. So that's going to do it for the quick non-spoiler review of Black Panthers. It was the, I ain't gonna say the word. Don't forget to like this video, comment and subscribe. There are gonna be some more follow up to this video. Anything you'd like to say in passing? How you like to cry at the audience? Cause we had some people dressed up. I really felt like I was coming to America up in that movie theater. Cause we had people dressed up in full dashikis. We had a dude who pants looked like they was the Black Panther pants. They were painted on them. What do you feel I about mean, the crowd? It just added to the atmosphere. It so did. I, it did. It made it more enjoyable. They rolled out the carpet, and the movie was so good. It had black folks in there clapping at the end of the movie, like us nerds normally be doing. We have our nerd gas. <laughs> they was in there clapping for real. So I, I definitely won't pick on him if he wants to go see it again. I always pick on him for going to see movies two, three, four times, but he, he has my permission to do that. Better I see the movie than go to a strip club, right? Of course. And that's going to do it for this video. <laughs> Don't forget to like the video, comment, and subscribe. Go see Black Panther. Tell me how you like it. If you've already seen it, tell me what you loved about it. Did you take your sweetie pie? I took mine. My queen. And until that next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.